day grade tens welcome to this third lesson in your revision for your test week in this lesson we're going to still be looking at algebraic expressions and we're going to be looking at factorizing some random examples so we're going to be when I say random I mean as in that they're a mixed bunch of examples so let's get going the first thing that we always look for is a common factor so if we look at this first question we can see that we've got 16a squared minus 4b squared and if you look carefully you can see that 4 goes into both the first term and the second term so we can take out a common factor of 4 and then, then what are we left with? We're left with 16 divided by 4 is 4a squared minus 4 goes into 4 once and you're left with b squared. And I'm really hoping that by now you realize that this is the difference of two squares. 4 is a perfect square, a is a perfect square, a squared is a perfect square and b squared is a perfect square and the difference is a minus. Therefore we can do the usual thing of doing this and we square root the first one which is 2a minus b we square root the last which is b so we've got 2a and then plus b right and that's it done we can't factorize that any further let's look at the next example now again the first thing you do is you look for common factors and our common factor we can take out here is a 2 and you're left with a to the 8 minus 8 divided by 2 is 4, b to the 4, and then hopefully again you'll realize that because this is an even number and because this is a perfect square that this again is the difference of two squares. So you're left with 2, the square root of this is actually a to the 4 minus 4, b squared, and then we've got we've got it exactly the same but with a plus sign so we've got a to the 4 plus 4b squared now the 2 cannot be factorized any further and this cannot be factorized any further but this is another difference of two squares it's a to the 4 and b squared and 4 is a perfect square so again we can write equals 2 and then I'm bringing down the stuff that can't be changed so we've got a to the 4 plus 4b squared but because of this minus this can be factorized further so we've got the square root of the first term which is a squared the square root of the second term which is going to be 2b with a minus sign and then a squared plus 2b and if we look at it we can see we are now finished the sum because we cannot factorize this last term anymore this is an a squared but this is just 2b so that's done and we are finished factorizing this so please look to see if you're finished when you go through it okay next question right now we've got x plus 3 squared minus 16 now your first gut reaction would be to multiply out this bracket I admit it is a gut reaction but they're asking us to factorize the first thing we always look for factorizing is common factors and no there are no common factors the next thing we look for is the difference of two squares and do you see that this whole bracket is squared there's a minus sign and then we've got 16 which is a perfect square as well so in fact if we leave this if we don't multiply out this bracket we end up with a beautiful perfect square sum so let's do that we've got square root of the first one is going to be x plus 3 minus square root of the last one 4 and notice I'm putting the square brackets in just in case there's anything we need to multiply out by so similarly we're going to have square root of the first one which is going to be x plus 3 but this time it's a plus and then the square root of the second term which is a 4 and then we're going to multiply out and luckily for us there are no fancy and scary things so it just becomes x plus 3 minus 4 all in the first bracket and this becomes x plus 3 plus 4 in the second bracket we haven't finished because these are like terms because they've got no coefficients so we've got x minus 1 
and then x3 plus 4 is plus 7 and there you go we have now factorized this completely which grade tens you would have got if you'd multiplied this out and then subtracted the 16 from it and then factorized again you would have got it but this is much quicker and easier admittedly you didn't need to write out every single line you could have made it a lot faster again we've got the difference of two squares this is a perfect square and this is a perfect square and there's a minus sign so this would be a lot longer we could multiply it out and multiply it out and then add up the like terms and then factorize but I'm going to show you this much quicker with method where we realize that if we've got the square of the first the square of the last and a minus we can have the difference of two squares so let's have a look at this we've got p plus 1 minus p plus 2 and then we do it again but with a plus sign so we've got p plus 1 plus p plus 2 right so then let's get rid of these brackets so we've got p plus 1 minus p and minus times a plus is a minus 2 and then we've got p plus 1 and luckily this is a plus so we can just go plus p plus 2 and now we add our like terms so we got p minus p goes away life is good plus 1 minus 2 is minus 1 and then this is p plus p is 2p plus 1 plus 2 is plus 3 and if we multiply this all out we've got minus 2p minus 3 and that's that answer Right, now let's do a slightly more complicated one. You can see that these are all getting slightly more complicated as we go. And again, we can look first of all at what? We always look for common factors. It's the first thing we do. And we can see that this is the first term of the expression and this is the second term of the expression. And here we've got 4 and there's 36. So we could take out a common factor of 4 okay this is 2a minus 1 and this is a minus 3 so they're different now I hope you've realized again that we've got a difference of two squares but grade tens again like I said if you really wanted to if you didn't see it you could multiply this out okay and then add it up and all get, get together all the common factors and you'd end up with a beautiful trinomial that you could factorize but there's a much quicker and easier way to do it and the first one is to look for the common factors and we've taken out a common factor of 4 4 goes into 4 once and we're left with 2a minus 1 squared minus 4 goes into 36 9 times and we're left with a minus 3 squared and you can see again that this is a perfect square so now we can multiply this out we've got 4 and we've got the square of the first bracket which is 2a minus 1 minus the square of 9 is 3 and the square of a minus 3 squared is just a minus 3 and then we do exactly the same but we put a plus sign so we've got 2a minus 1 plus 3 times a minus 3 so what have we got? We've got 4 and then we multiply out. This is why we do these brackets because we've got 2a minus 1 minus 3 times a is minus 3a minus times a minus is a plus 9 and we put close brackets and then we do the same thing here but luckily this is a plus so we've got 2a minus 1 plus 3a minus times a plus is a minus 9 so you're left with 4. Now we add up the like terms. Okay, we've got 2a minus 3a is minus a minus 1 plus 9 is going to give us plus 8. And then 2a plus 3a is 5a and minus 1 minus 9 is minus 10. And I hope you can see that we're not finished yet because they asked us to factorize completely. And if you look at this, you can see that although there's no common factors in this bracket here, we've got minus 8 plus 8, over here we've got a 5 and a 10. So we could actually take out a common factor of 2. So we've got 4 times minus a plus 8 
times the common factor sorry, of 5 and you're left with a minus 2. So if we do that, we've got 4 times 5, which is 20. And we're left with minus a plus 8 and a minus 2. And that's it. That is the final answer. So again, I have done it very slowly, but I guarantee you this is a lot faster than if you had multiplied this out with the squared, multiplied this out with the squared, got your trinomials, added up the like terms, and then factorized again. This is way faster if you've seen it. This is the difference of two squares.